Hello everybody. This is the final configuration of my microwave oven transformer DC power supply. I replaced all the soldered wires with disconnects and I replaced all the bridge rectifiers. They were 1000 volt bridge rectifiers before I've replaced those with 100 volt 35 amp bridge rectifiers. They're all connected in parallel uh, so it's uh, got a good current rating. The transformer didn't change anything, it's 12 gauge wire wound around there so that I get about 30 volts output on the bridge rectifiers and everything is smooth with a, that's actually a 50,000, actually it's a 35,000 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor and um, I'm going to connect it, I'm connecting it through a current meter and we're going to test it to see how it performs. So I've got a big piece of metal there that I'm going to heat up in this induction heater. This is one that I bought off of eBay and uh, it's rated up to a thousand watts. And uh, we'll test it out and uh, see how it goes. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is turn on the power. So the noise that you can hear in the background is the um, pump for the induction heater and um, I'm going to connect up the DC power and you should see the, the volts and the amps so this is with no load on the induction heater and this will show you what we're going to get so we're getting slight voltage drop is 28 volts at uh, 3.6 amps with no load so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this big wrench into the induction heater and to see what effect that has on the current. So I'm putting the wrench in the induction heater right now and there's a slight voltage drop and there's a big uh, increase in current to around 10 amps. So the uh, DC power supply seems to be performing pretty well and earlier I checked the uh, temperatures of the uh, bridge rectifiers and they were getting warm, they were not getting hot. With the 1000 volt rectifiers that I had earlier, they failed. And the, the trouble with these uh, induction heaters is when they fail, they fail short circuit. So what I did is I put a 20 amp fuse right there, like this thing here, is a 20 amp fuse so that if it fails short circuit it will blow the fuse instead of burn out the uh, rectifiers. So I'm getting a fair bit of heating as you can see here of this uh, wrench and um, current drops back down to 3.6 amps and around uh, 28 volts it's more like 30 with no load and then as I put the wrench into the induction coil you get around 250 watts of power being generated by this setup. So it's a pretty good setup for um, heating metal and induction heaters with good performance and um, with not too much heating of the diodes. Make sure to stay, stay steer clear of the 1000 volt diodes because those don't perform well and they tend to fail as I found out the hard way. So, uh, there we go. Good bit, large bit of metal there, heat it up with this setup. Now I'll try, I'll feel the temperatures of these. These things are not even hot, they're just warm. Can check them all. And with connecting them with disconnects would make it a lot easier for me to replace them if they fail. Okay, here I've got my much larger homemade induction heater. And we're gonna test the no load current draw on this using our uh, homemade power supply. So, um, I'm about to turn it on and see what we get in terms of the no load on it. So,
It's drawing 6.8 amps and it's driving the voltage to about 26.2 with no load. Now let's try it with a load. Okay, I've just added a load to it. So there's the, uh, it's drawing about 12 amps at 23 volts. And um, I put a metal coin in there. It's not very stable. It keeps getting attracted to the coil. To the coil, so. It's making that coin pretty hot. It's almost white hot. And the drain, the current drain is 23 volts, 14 point, sorry, 13.3 amps. So a good amount of current is being drawn by this bigger induction heater. To get this uh, near white heat. And I'm just going to check my dyes to see what those are doing. They're just warm. Transformer cores warm. Heat sinks are warm, so nothing's getting hot, which is a good sign. Mm. 